Hi, Chem Team. Uh, so when a reaction occurs, energy can change in one of two ways. The reactions can be endothermic, in which energy is absorbed into the reaction. So an example of this would be an ice cube melting, uh, which is endothermic because in order for the ice cube to melt, uh, heat needs to go into the ice cube. Uh, and then the opposite type of reaction would be an exothermic reaction, uh, which releases energy as it occurs. Uh, so an example of this would be a match burning. Uh, and this is exothermic because the process of burning releases heat. And that's it. Uh, at this point, you guys have a couple of practice problems. We'll see you in class tomorrow.